What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Demo Storm, and we're here with a little showcase. So, Steampunk has changed a little bit. They added the new airship, and I thought I would show you guys that today. The scale of this thing is massive. Just a heads up on that thing. Um, we're not going to be doing any of the grinding on camera. We're just going to use ACM, our admin control manager. I've used it in multiple videos showcasing things. But we've got our airship here. It needs an airship uh, deck, airship hull, and six propellers. So, we're going to go over here, show you guys to build up we're gonna start with the hull. i can barely see right now i'm actually ex extremely tired so that takes blue engines deck as you guys can see just to make the hull need propellers so we're just gonna come over here deck airship hull and propellers you throw oil or gasoline in here power it up and you get your you know your airship you also need to craft the wonderful fuel to run this thing and this thing burns through fuel like crazy but this is acm as i've shown you guys before very very easy we're going to give ourselves what, 33 of those and we're just going to give ourselves an airship not actually seeing it in the list so i'm just going to type it in steampunk airship i spawned 33 of them in yeah definitely don't want to throw 33 of these down on my single player world i'll tell you that much all right, we need a lot of space to prevent it from clipping. Uh, we're actually going to turn down bloom quality to zero, light shafts to zero, gamma to 2.2. Is there a reason it's really, really white out there? Uh, no, it's just the normal arc. That just seems awfully bright to me than usual. All right. There's a little bit of lag for me. Huh? There we go. Real fast. Just turning the music off. It goes for a good solid couple minutes. Uh-huh. Guess the music thing didn't work. Oh well. thing is massive absolutely massive all right we're gonna give ourselves some scale here all right oh doesn't seem like I spawn a wyvern on this map oh well creatures flyers we're going to go with the Argentavis tamed. Uh, level 1000. Thank you. Admin control manager is so useful. All right, we're going to fly her up on board. Just for some scale for you guys. <laughs> thing is massive. And you can build on this deck. That is that is the best part. It's like you, you It's now a mobile base. Can I fly down there? No. Very unfortunate. I guess that's where you would build, like, your steampunk stuff for grinding. Oh. I guess he's having some issues landing on it right now. Anyways. I'm gonna throw the oil inside. Interesting. Thought I could take the deck off for a second. That would have been weird. Alright. And we got fuel. Space bar is descend. Alright. C is ascend. That's new controls. These weren't here the other day when I was testing out the mod. So those are updated. It was based on, like, looking. And that was really strange. Um, it's not the most, you know, the speediest thing in the world, but it gets the job done. I mean, I can imagine having airship battles. That does the first thing. And with the scale of this thing, anything is possible. You kind of glitched in the wall. I don't know. Mod Devil can probably answer that question. I'll talk to him later. Or at least message him. I don't have actual conversations with this dev um 
but just to show, I don't know. Let's take a tech found tech foundation and just kind of show that we can plop them right down. So I can imagine you building just a cool base up here. I don't know if you can store creatures. Testing time. Uh, Pteranodon. My spelling is atrocious. I am sorry, guys. All right, he landed fine. Don't know. Don't know indeed. Maybe it's something to do with me. No. He lands on the deck fine. Maybe I have to move it first. That might have been the issue. That or it's an Argentavis issue. Not sure. Um, let's see. Yeah, it seems like it has to just move first. I might keep falling through the world because going into ghost mode is fucking risky these days. It's always been a kind of an issue with flying out of the freaking world and things like that. Not a big deal, though. It's not the end of the world. I love the scale, though. Scale here is definitely perfect. You feel like you're an Avenger. Sheet walk. There we go. I'm glitched. I personally am glitched. Not a big deal. But yeah. Play around with your dinosaurs on board. And just look at that. That is a 3 by 2 on the deck. You can fit plenty of things up here. They showed in the trailer guys putting minigun turrets on it and stuff. Imagine just having a rocket turrets and things on it. And just shooting down on like unsuspecting places. Uh, let's see. Let's get some scale here for you guys. I want to, like, compare it to something on the ground. Let's go land at this uh, obelisk. And it is burning through fuel, so it is, you know, you're going to have to grind with your teammates to get it and things like that. Each part is not cheap, obviously. Um, you know, it's supposed to be an endgame kind of thing. I mean, the hot air balloon's not that cheap either. So that's a thing. But uh, maps like, I believe Iso Islands actually has ore that you can, like, mine copper out of and things like that so the grind is a little bit less on that front as you can just mine it all all right clipping doesn't seem to be an issue on the wings here all right this is us compared to the obelisk yeah that's a pretty good pretty good sight there all right we're gonna ascend That's ginormous. That is that is a huge, huge thing to the game. And honestly, I want to just put Steampunk on my server just to see people traveling around on these things. Um, I haven't tested how many it would take to lag me in single player. Multiplayer is a different story, though, because you have your server loading in more of the resources than your actual computer. So your computer only renders in what you can see based on render distance and things like that. The server renders the world. So it doesn't have to deal with the other issues that your computer has to deal with. Things like that. That's that's what I seem to see from my own personal experience. Look at that. Just imagine like ramming into another one with this thing. Pretty sweet. And I'm going to keep falling and not being able to walk. So we're just going to cheat fly. Move around by Argentavis. It's fine. It's just a glitch with me, not the game. Or the mod. Yeah, you don't seem to be able to get close to the blades. Kind of unfortunate there. I would love to uh, jump across. Just imagine, though, having two battles between these things and grappling hook to each other. Like, just grapple between the two airships. Seems like it would be a good time. Let's take you underneath. And as you can see, I think the ship is quite perfect. And then, if I could head inside... Gotta type quickly. I'll show you the playable space. 
What is that? I don't think you can actually get under there. Anyways, we'll walk the length of the ship this way. This is if we were to go down those stairs. Pretty cool. I wish those windows were... Act I wish these were openable windows. Um, unsure if that's the plan, but like for cannons. Oh, I guess it wouldn't make sense because it's kind of thick in there. I don't know. I, w I would enjoy some windows for cannons, but that's that's just personal opinion. I mean, let's take a quick look at the HP. Kind of some work to blow this thing up, I would say. But that's about it, guys. Thank you guys for joining me for a little quick update on Steampunk right now. If you enjoyed, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out our ongoing series of PvE. We're trying to catch all the dinosaurs in the game. And then we should be moving on to something different. I'm, I'm looking at the next mods for the server. And if you want to get on my server, just always remember, just sub on Twitch or join Patreon. Patreon is the first of the month. Twitch is as soon as you get it done. I've been Demo. Have a wonderful day.